Have you seen those videos of Diddy with, with Bieber and all those oh, old videos? very strange, right? Like, really? Hey, a 45-year-old man with a 16-year-old boy. What do you, and, and here's the thing. Why isn't anybody saying anything? That's a, Your parents are dropping you off at his house, and then everybody's seeing it, yeah. but everybody's quiet about it. I mean, that shows you, like, people are so desensitized by celebrities. Mm -hmm. you know? They're not doing a raid on your house for no reason. <laughs> That's what I think. But how much? But how much of that you think is involved with with the Bieber or the or like the Bow Wow? I don't like know if it's involved, but I know that there is definitely weird, strange activity. But I mean, you see, like I said, you see, the, yeah, very, very weird. And then, and then, apparently, recently there was a video of Diddy seeing Bieber in Miami, and he hugged him, and right, he's tapping him down yeah. to see if he's wired. And it's like, bro, Justin Bieber's been through a lot. Like, it looks like he's been abused so to speak because he went from the nice young dude to all these parties with all these people and there's videos where you know they're giving him drinks and then i mean I, but you can't say that that's like normal human behavior you're like a young kid and then you're partying when you're 20s like bro like everybody that judged him for that like that to me was like ridiculous like everybody grows up everybody goes from you know being a teenager to a young adult to partying to having a good time it's just amplified because he's older but to me, I was like, what's the problem? So what, he pissed in a bucket? You probably pissed in a bucket, too, before. You just weren't recorded. Like, this is Vinny like, just pissed in a bucket 20 minutes. Oh, the back. Like, Literally this is outside, the difference we were trying to tell Justin, Vinny, not a good idea. If somebody caught me pissing, pee in a bucket, I'm like, bro, I, I would go on Twitter right away. Like, bro, I couldn't, I had nowhere to pee. Like, my mm -hmm. bladder was hurting. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, you don't act like you guys never had to go pee really bad. Like, all I, I would just address it online, and it would go away. Everybody gets so scared. Like, bro, you piss in a bucket. <laughs> What's the problem? That pissing in the bucket really bothered you. <laughs> yeah, because it's pissing me off. Like, bro, they really try to cancel him over pissing in a bucket. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, do, do you think at, at you know, the, the age with Bieber, Diddy, Usher, all, have you followed that closely yeah, or no? Yeah, a yeah. little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That camp, what was that camp called that Usher went to? Puff, puffy flavor camp where he, they're 14. Didn't like, Diddy yeah. call Meek Mill's daddy? Or daddy. Oh. It's just so much suspect stuff. So, right. If you had to guess, what do you think? Because Pat mentioned earlier, they raided his crib. A lot of people are saying that this guy had cameras. He was the Epstein of hip hop. He had cameras in every room. All these famous people, you know, royalty was there. Congress, all these people at his crib. You, what do you think was the, the main reason that they're raiding his house? And they don't arrest him because he wasn't there. But what do you, what, if you had to guess... Just allegations probably against them, and then they probably had proof, and then they had enough evidence to raid them. I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, it could have been anything. I mean, if you have secret cameras and a lot of famous people, et cetera, is, uh, going to your parties, it could be anything. I mean, it could just be some weird, you know, gay shit or whatever. <laughs> like, you know, nothing gets gay people. Gay people are cool, but um, they could have some gay shit there, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What? I mean, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of that going around. Bro, what do you saying, mean? Bro. They said like um, P Diddy was with uh, what's that guy from the TV show? Carl Winslow. Carl Winslow. That's, Carl Winslow. Like, that's what? a weird That's one. crazy. Family matters. That's that's a family a does not you matter. For the father, I mean, there was. <laughs> that's, <crazy. laughs> that's right. At that point. Bro. By the way, that, like if there was anybody, they would have accused. You could have said, okay. The younger, the, are you kid? This is the father, right? That's not the guy that they about said that he was hooking up with that guy. Oh my god! Fifty cent. Click on the story. He has with an 50 acquired cent. taste. I'll tell you. <laughs> oh shit! Yes, he does. Oh, that is an acquired <laughs> That's some funny shit. Oh my 50 god! Fifty Cent he shook by Diddy <laughs> rumors, intimate oh relationship with Family Matters. Carl Winslow <laughs> actor. I need a drink. Facts. Wow. wow. Got a beer or something. Bro. Just, keep Takes going, Lord. I mean, listen, 50 is another oh, one of those guys that's crazy. in the league of his own. 50, 50, 50 is a master 50 troll. 50 picks on you, it's permanent. And, and, and master troll, you know what, though? Nobody can mess with him because he's a real gangster. Oh, like, shit. You ain't doing shit to, Many, you ain't doing shit to 50. Uh, so but, uh, on me. Oh, yeah. zo zo zoom in, uh, uh, hopping on something. What's, what's the saying at the top? Appearing on the Drinks and Jinx podcast earlier, the comedian Luke Cannon alleged having caught Diddy and Family Matters star Reginald Vell Johnson, better known for his character Carl Winslow, in the sexual act, framing his hate train Damn. around the conversation. The 21 questions rapper framed shock in the Wednesday Instagram update. I mean, listen, there's a lot of weird stories you can tell. Oh, like, okay. you would have never expected that story to no. come out. Wasn't with. he with Jennifer Lopez? 
He was with Jennifer. Jennifer Love is the trans man? Stop. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a weird chance of time. I can no longer remain in today's Democratic Party. Tulsi Gabbard says she is no longer a Democrat. A potential Tulsi Gabbard VP. Where we are being told that we just have to comply and go along with whatever they say. American people uh, are smarter than this. However, we must remain vigilant to recognize their propaganda for what it is, pure lie. Unfortunately, we live in a time where free speech is under attack. Whatever they say goes, and we, we have to just fall. And the people who suffered under your reign as prosecutor, you owe them an apology. <laughs> Taking on Kamala Harris on a debate stage before, I would look forward to doing that again. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.